In a previous video, we discussed SSH and that it's really not always that much of a low hanging fruit. So we've got SSH here and say we want to attack it. Now there are three reasons we're going to do this. And this is from a realistic perspective. If we see SSH on an assessment, we're going to try to brute force against it or use weak or default credentials. And we're going to do that because one, we're going to test password strength. Two, we're going to see if we can get in with a weak password or default password. And if we can, that also attests to password strength, correct? And three, we're going to see how well the blue team performs. Do they catch us? Do they see us brute forcing? This should be something that should alert when it is being performed but you would be surprised how often it does not. So during a pen test, I am as loud as possible. This is not a red team assessment where we're trying to be quiet. This is a pen test where we are as loud as possible and we are hoping to be caught sometimes just or just told to tone it down a little bit. You know, hey, we're seeing you. Can you be more quiet? And we just want to be caught sometimes so we can give kudos in a report and say, hey, you saw us scanning here and here and kudos to you, but you didn't see us scanning here and here. So this is how we really help fine tune a blue team and help fine tune a client as well is being loud sometimes. So we're going to practice being loud today and we're also going to practice brute force attacks. And we have the perfect opportunity to do that with an SSH port being open on this machine. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a tool called Hydra. And then I'll show you the Metasploit way as well. So Hydra is a brute force tool. So the syntax for Hydra is going to be this. We're going to say Hydra. And then we're going to give a dash L for the user that we're going to be utilizing. In this case, I want to attack root. And then we're going to give a capital P for the password list. So if we wanted to use a password list with L, we can just say capital L. But here we're going to say capital P for the password list. And then we're just going to say user share wordless metasploit and I'm just going to double tab in this folder so you can see how many words are actually in here. Uh, there's quite a bit of wordless and you can space space and it has wordless for all different kinds of things built in and these are all over Kali so it's good to know your folder locations but user share wordless is one that we'll use quite a bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to utilize an attack uh, with these Unix passwords here. So we have a Unix users and Unix passwords. We're going to utilize the Unix password list and just try to brute force with that. So we'll say Unix passwords, something like that. And then we're going to need to specify what we're attacking. So we are attacking SSH like this and our IP address of our machine that we're attacking on port 22. And then we need to have a certain amount of attempts uh, or threads at once, and we're gonna limit that to four. And then I'm gonna do a capital V for verbosity, just cause I wanna see the user attempts flow through so that we can actually see what's going on here. So once you got the syntax ready to go, go ahead and hit enter. And you're gonna see that it's starting to attempt root login password with all these weak passwords here. And hopefully it might find something. But let's go ahead and open up a, a new terminal here. And we're going to just make this a little bigger. And I'm going to load up Metasploit as well. And we're going to run the same exact thing in Metasploit. But I think it's good to know multiple frameworks and multiple tools to perform the same task. So here, we're going to search for something like SSH, and this is going to be an auxiliary module. So we'll just scroll up and we're going to look for something like SSH login. Perfect. Login check scanner and make sure we don't have anything else. And that looks good to me. So let's go ahead and take this SSH login. And we're going to go ahead and say use options. And now we have kind of our brute force options here. Let me make this a little bigger so it's prettier. 
So we've got a brute force speed from zero to five, five being the fastest. Try blank passwords, no, no, no. We can set a hard password and we could set a hard username. We could set a user and password file, a user pass, user as password file. Uh, again, we can have a password file as well. So we have a lot of different options here that we can utilize, but we're gonna go ahead and do the same kind of thing. We're gonna say set username and we're just gonna say root. And then we're gonna say set pass file. And similar to what we just used, we're gonna say user share wordless metasploit. And then we're gonna say Linux Unix, sorry, Unix passwords. And that should set the pass file. And then we just need our host as well. Set our host and we'll say 192.168.57.134. Say options one more time. And you can see that we've got our password file set. We've got our our host set. We've got our our port on 22. Threads is one, username, root, and we should be good to go. Now we could set multiple threads here. We could set threads to like 10. This is really gonna amp it up. I mean, this should be detected in a second, but we're gonna try to run it. And we could set, actually, let me control C. Let's set verbose to true as well, just so you could see that it's actually working. Set verbose to true, and then we're gonna run this. And then it's going to attempt um, different credentials here and it'll say hey uh, I found it and it'll light up green and then we'll know it's good so this is actually going kind of slow surprisingly and you can see here that we are at attempt 112 116 so this is all also going slow um, and we do not have a successful attempt or login I actually don't believe that there's going to be one but you never know. Um, I believe I remember taking this offline and trying to crack the password and it wasn't any kind of weak password. So you can let your brute, brute force run if you want to go with it, but I'm going to go ahead and kill mine. And that's it for this video. So from here, we're going to talk about a similar methodology called credential stuffing, which we've already talked about before, except we're not brute forcing, but we're using common knowledge to our advantage. So we'll talk about a little bit of credential stuffing in the next video.